What's up guys? You're back with another video from 3DB. Uh, this one, this one was something different. So this one I got to try out a couple new processes. Uh, the print came out really great with this one. I think the finish came out great as well. Uh, I know later in the video you'll hear me say I want to add some rust to this, but I actually put that clip up on Twitter. And somebody made a good point. Um, the stainless steels that they used back then didn't really rust. So as far as like trying to get it that little bit more of detail, that little bit more of character, uh, I just went with weathering. And I think that did a million times better um, than what I was gonna do with the rust. But this was a this was a fun uh, project, even doing the, um, the weathering. I got a little dirty doing that. <laughs> um, it was all fun. Learned a couple new techniques. Uh, that I'm willing to share with you guys. So as always guys, it's 3DB. If you like the build, if you like the video, definitely hit that like button. And if you wanna know what's coming out next, definitely hit that subscribe so that way you're always up with me on all my builds. Other than that, let's get to it. Good day, sir.
Okay, so this print didn't come out bad. Funny thing, um, I've never seen gray primer on a gray print until now. <laughs> it's like I did nothing. It was kind of weird spray painting it because I couldn't tell where I spray painted it because it was already gray. So it just looked like it was getting more gray. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, this print didn't need much sanding. I think I only did like, um, I think like 180, just 180 and 220. And then of course, just like the wet sandpaper, just so the paint stuck on there nice. This I didn't mean to do. This just shows you if you don't put like a, a gloss black first before you put like your silvers or anything like that, that it's not as bright or shiny. It might still look shiny, it's nickel um, with the camera, but once I finish everything up, you, you're gonna be able to see like the difference. I'll probably do these first. I, I j All I have to do is just spray another layer of black over that and then go from there. But uh, I'll just show you guys the difference on why you wanna do that. Cause I know I say that in pretty much every video, always start with your gl gloss black first. I give you guys like a little uh, picture on that, what it looks like if you don't. Um, but yeah, I didn't need to do a lot of sanding on here. Not gonna have to do a lot of attachments, anything like that. Um, the good thing about this print is it came out with like these little nubs here. So all I gotta do is just fill those in to connect everything and it'll be done. Um, so literally I printed it, um, 180, 220, 400, 800 sandpaper. Which again, as you can see, I really didn't have to do much. Maybe like 10 minutes of sanding, if that. Um, but I didn't have to do a lot of sanding on this print, which is great. But it's just been raining out here in mass so much, so I haven't been able to get outside and spray paint it. So today it's about like 70, 75, so I'm about to get out there, have some fun. The top of the helmet is already upstairs. I already hit that with a little bit of gloss black, so I don't want to bring it in the house too early since it's warmer outside. It'll dry a lot better and no one bring the fumes in the house either so so there's that <laughs> um that's just a quick update on this one um if anybody's looking to do this print this is one i would like recommend because it was just so simple it was simple it's gonna be fun it's gonna look cool and heads up guys i'm actually gonna be getting a display case it's gonna go right over there with all my prints it's gonna be amazing yeah, as you can hear, the print keeps falling. That means paint me, paint me. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. I'll be back. All right, you guys can see pretty much now, I got everything as far as like metallics looking as good as I wanted to. Of course, I got it, I haven't hidden it with any uh, clear coat yet. Um, I did the satin nickel first, and then I used a, a metallic spray. Of course, I started with the gloss black. Now I got in a groove. I didn't um, <clears throat> show you guys the difference when you use the gloss black. But I'll leave um, picture references that way you guys can see what uh, this part looked like before and what this part looked like with the, uh, after. Um, like this, I don't want to assemble it just like this. I can. Um, I'm just going to add like some golden details. Like I can add like pinstripes or everything like that. But I kind of want this to look aged. I don't think I've done that too many times. So I want to give it like a little bit of like detail, like a little bit of personality kind of. <clears throat> I don't want it to look like a perfectly um, kept helmet. 
that's pretty much what it would look like now. I think that's cool, but I want to add like some rust effects, um, especially within this part of the mask. Like I said, I want to paint some of these accents gold, even within the helmet as well. It's going to be my first time doing it, so let's see what happens, guys. Uh, I might completely destroy this thing. <laughs> um, but everything's a learning experience. It's going to be my first time. I think it'll come out good.